Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Thank you all so much for being here for the final round of the 110th Massachusetts Amateur Championship. My name is Jesse Menachem. I'm the Executive Director of Mass Golf. I've got some very special guests with me up here today. They'll be introduced momentarily. Uh, but I'd like to take a moment and just recognize what a special week this was, not only for the city of Boston, but for Mass Golf. For the first time hosting our marquee championship at truly public municipal golf courses uh, is, is a feat that we are so proud of, and the partnership that we've created with the city of Boston is second to none. So how about a big round of applause for the city. We really had some stellar play this week. We had fantastic weather. I, for one, am glad this was not last week. It would have been a little bit challenging for everybody, but uh, nonetheless, I am, I'm so proud of the 144 players that teed it up Monday, Tuesday, and our match play competitors that made it Wednesday through Friday, and here we are with our runner-up and our champion. So congratulations to all the competitors this week. Two representatives from the city of Boston I'd like to recognize to my left. We have Mr. Nick Collins, state senator, and we have Ms. Anissa Asabi-George. Welcome to you both. Also to my left, we have President of Mass Golf, Bunk Reed. How about a big round of applause for Bunk? And now I'd like to point out the individuals involved in this championship from day one. Like I alluded to before, this has been a true partnership for the last 10 years. Uh, not only through hosting amateur competitions, whether it be the amateur public links, qualifying rounds for the USGA, or here this week at the State Amateur Championship. Uh, in addition to that, we have our first tee programming, youth development programming at the uh, Franklin Park. Uh, so we are so proud of what's been accomplished here in the city, and we look forward to what's ahead. Uh, but without further ado, I'd like to recognize this gentleman just to my right, Mr. Mayor, Mr. Excuse me, Mayor Marty Walsh. We also have Dennis Roach, Director of Administration, and Scott Allen, the head professional here at George Wright. They should be recognized with a tremendous round of applause. Four gentlemen who are not here at the moment, I'd like to recognize first and foremost the two superintendents that have done phenomenal work here on these golf courses. The last 10 years there's been projects through Mark Mungem to restore these to what they've become today. So I'd like to point out and recognize Mr. Len Curtin here at George Wright and Mr. Russ Heller. How about a big round of applause for them? Here? And finally, the other golf professional at William J. Devine at Franklin Park, Kevin Frawley, couldn't be here tonight. But how about, how about a big round of applause for Kevin? So with that, Mr. Walsh, I would like to present this to you on behalf of Mass Golf. Thank you so much for hosting us this week. Thank you. Mayor Walsh, if you'd like to say a few Thank words. You. Absolutely. Let me... Uh, First of all, Jesse, thank you, and Bunk, thank you. Uh, this is exciting. Uh, this is uh, the first time uh, that an amateur tournament has been held on a public course here in the city of Boston, and uh, we are so excited about that. And I want to thank, uh, I'm not going to mention names, but, but the people from High Park who are ecstatic about today. One of them is Temi McCarthy, who couldn't be here unless he's out on the golf course somewhere. Uh, people are so excited about having, having this tournament here in the city of Boston. And, We've been talking about it for a year, and it's been great that we could do it. So thank you uh, for being here with us. I also want to thank the, the City Council of Sabi George and, and the State Senator Collins, who are here. This is an exciting time in the city of Boston. And, and you know, um, golf is, is a great game. In, in these courses that you played on, Franklin Park and George Wright, uh, many young kids in the city of Boston who otherwise would not have had a chance to understand or get a chance to play the game of golf uh, we have great programs for our Parks and Recreation Department, and they get a chance firsthand to see. And some of some of our young people in, in Boston have gone to our schools and actually got their start playing golf here and gone on to college and getting scholarships. So we're excited to have all of you here today. Uh, to the winner of this tournament, congratulations. Uh, good thing I wasn't playing. <laughs> killed me. Uh, but I want to congratulate you on this. Uh, you know, and not only, as I said, so the fact that this is the first tournament uh, like this on, 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 on this course uh, made history. You made history by being the first winner. So congratulations.
Mayor Walsh, thank you very much. And now we'd like to turn it over to President Bunk Reed for the golf awards. Thank you, Jesse. Thanks, everybody. Uh, before I introduce each of these gentlemen, this is about the tallest final we've ever had. Uh, I'd like to ask you to just give them a round of applause. I think we had about the cap, the, one of the greatest Greeks on one of the greatest courses, really one of the strongest fields we've ever had in the amateur. They're the terrific men. So let's thank both of these guys for all. Both of these gentlemen are uh, firmly established, longtime members of the Mass Golf family. Uh, Herbie's a member of our first tee and junior development committee, so gives a lot of his time to that effort. They're both prior champions. Herbie, four or five times in the four ball and the public links and the uh, uh, mid am. And, uh, Patrick as the uh, junior amateur champion in uh, 2012. So they've both been up here before. All I've been hearing this week is everybody knows Herbie. <laughs> and it's really true. I mean, so I won't, I won't say much more about Herbie except to say that uh, if you uh, don't enjoy being with Herbie, whether on the golf course or off the golf course, you should find another line of work because he's one of the nicest guys in the golf world or in any world. So he played great today, ran into a bit of a birdie train <laughs> in the form of Patrick Froding. But nevertheless, he's our runner-up for the 2018 Amateur Championship. Thank you very much for the kind words. That was that was really that was really nice. Uh, the the city of Boston, George Wright and Franklin Park should be so proud. The uh, the golf courses are amazing. The greens are spectacular. The course was just in great shape, and you could feel the excitement that the golf courses had to have this event. And uh, it was an honor to be playing in it. An honor to to, to finish where I did. I played with a great guy today, and he. Uh, his putting and his golf game was amazing, so uh, I can keep my head up and uh, I know that I played well. I just got beat by a great champion. So thank you to the, the staff. Thank you, to Scott, and everybody. Uh, I really appreciate it. Thank you to Mass Golf and uh, city officials. I really appreciate it. Thank you. I had the pleasure of spending uh, 72 holes with Patrick over the last couple of days, which I think is more than anyone except maybe his caddy and his parents. Mm -hmm. And uh, what a pleasure to watch him play golf. Just such a treat. I made some notes as I went along. There were 13 bar birdies in the match today. Uh, and all of my notes about Patrick have the word putt. But I, <laughs> what stands out to me in, this, in the match today was the way you played number 14 both times. First time, over the green to the left, chip back, hit the stick, pick it up. First, second time, flop shot from somewhere, made a long putt. Two big holes. Enough said. Time to crown the champion, Patrick Fode Frodig, the 2018. <laughs> I'd also like to say a couple of words and uh, build off of what Herbie said. Just thank you again to Mass Golf, not only for providing another great championship for 144 or so competitors to play in, but also George Wright and Franklin Park. Um, I know when I saw that these two courses were uh, hosting the Mass Am, I thought it was awesome that finally two public courses could be brought up to the limelight. And I mean, this course is unbelievable. Franklin Park is too, and the superintendents and the grounds crew here done a phenomenal job uh, not only to make this the conditions great but I mean how firm it's been and how lush everything is with the heat is pretty spectacular I, I didn't see anybody um, even working on it while we were out here which is pretty pretty cool um, but again thank you to everybody I, it's pretty cool to do this it's my last year probably being an amateur not only with my family here but with also a lot of my friends um, that have come from work and whatnot to come watch. So, thank you again to everybody.
Ladies and gentlemen, before we do wrap up for the day, I would like to make one final introduction. A gentleman by the name of Harry McCracken uh, has been a mainstay here at George Wright, working with the city of Boston. Uh, we were able to introduce the Stroke Play Medalist Award on Tuesday afternoon, which is now named after Harry. He's now the Executive Secretary of the New England Golf Association, a past president of Mass Golf, and today is his 93rd birthday. to welcome everybody back for the Women's Amateur Championship in just a few weeks, something we're very excited about. Also the first time we'll be hosting this championship at a public and municipal golf course. So another big and exciting week ahead towards the end of this month. And we'd also like to welcome everybody next year for the 111th Massachusetts Amateur Championship at the Country Club, just a few miles down the road. So once again, congrats, congratulations to Kirby Aikens, our runner-up. Patrick Frody, our 2018 Massachusetts Amateur Championship. We've got some music to enjoy tonight, so once again, everyone, thank you for coming out this evening. Nope.